Oxbow Lakes and Meanders, part of the Edexcel GCSE 91 Geography course. Right, so the keywords you're going to have to know for this are meander, fastest flowing water, deposition, erosion, hydraulic action, abrasion, lateral erosion, swan neck flooding, Oxbow Lake and meander scar. Formation of a meander. Meanders occur on flat land in the middle course of a river. The water flows faster on one side of the river. This erodes this side faster than the other. More sediment is deposited on the side where the water flows slower, as there is less energy. This makes the river flow even faster on the other side. This makes the river bend and forms large horseshoe shaped meanders. So this is a cross section of a meander here. So as you can see, the fastest velocity is coming along here. You've got the slower velocity here. OK, so this will be the inner bend and this is the outer bend. OK, and because the water uh, is flowing slower here, depositing more uh, sediment, is it has less energy. Whereas here it's not being deposited. It's actually eroding here. OK, so the sediment's being deposited here and that's building up the layers and here it's becoming wider. OK, and this over time is going to create a meander. Right, so this is the first diagram that you're going to draw when you draw your oxbow lake. OK, so diagram one key points are that erosion occurs on the outside of bends of the meanders. So this red line here to show the fastest flowing water. So it's occurring on the outside bends of the meander. The river is now eroding through hydraulic action and abrasion sideways rather than down into the river bank. Okay, so rather than it's eroding down and making the river deeper, it's eroding sideways and it's making it wider. Okay, this process is called lateral erosion. Okay, so that's a key word there. That's a level nine word, lateral erosion. So here's your second diagram that you're going to draw. OK, remember your annotations, guys. OK, that's what's going to show the examiner what you're talking about in your text. OK, so if you include those annotations, just an extra show uh, layer to show the examiner. OK, so the key points here that the lateral erosion means that the shape of the meander has changed over time. OK, so as you can see, the meander is a lot totally different shape. OK. And it's uh, changed over the period of this lateral erosion. OK, this erosion especially narrows the neck of the meander, creating a swan neck. OK, so this bit here, the neck of the meander, as it becomes more eroded, OK, this is a lot smaller than if you look at here. OK, so that's a lot bigger than this here, this swan neck here. OK, and here's your next diagram. OK. So the key points here is that as the erosion of the swan necks continue, it's become much weaker. OK, and then often during the time of flooding or heavy rain, heavy rain, the swan necks broken. OK, so it becomes so weak here. OK, that all it's taken is a period of heavy rain or flooding. And that's just broken away. It's created the fastest route for the water to flow through. OK, so it creates the most direct route for the water to flow through. OK, because that's all that the river wants. OK, it wants to get from A here to B here as fast as possible. OK, and here's your last diagram that you're going to be drawing. OK, so keep diagram four. The river continues on the new riverbed. OK, and the meander is abandoned. OK, and over time, deposition seals off the meander, creating an oxbow lake. So here what will happen is deposition is going to occur here. And here, as no new water is flowing through, so here and here is going to get sealed off. So that's not going to be there anymore. That's going to be disconnected from the river. OK, and that's going to leave just this bit, which is the Oxbow Lake. OK, what might happen is if there's another period of heavy rain or flooding before this is fully formed as an Oxbow Lake, it might connect back so the more water flows through. But eventually it will form an Oxbow Lake. OK. And then when the water in the Oxbow Lake is dried out, a meander scar is formed, which you can see here. This is the meander scar. So this is originally would have been the Oxbow Lake with water in it. OK. But now that water is evaporated away and you're just left with the meander scar.